I'm pretty sure he did it, family. And, you know, I hate to, I hate to generalize and you know make judgments of people just off looks, but it's it's just something in this dude's eyes right here that telling me whatever the crime was, he did it. Look at that shit. Anyway, but let's see. It's say, like, man shot his girlfriend in the head, but she had no idea until she went to the doctor. So that's just let you know this story was crazy enough for me to just want to see what went on, read it myself. So I decided to just share it with you guys. But it's certain type of people that need to be removed, you know what I'm saying, from society, whatever color they are. And I'm pretty sure that this guy is one of those people. It says, in Atlanta, Georgia, Nicole Gordon, a 42-year-old woman from Atlanta, had no idea that she had a bullet in her head for a month since her boyfriend then shot her. Ger now, that's a fucked up statement in itself right there. I ain't, ain't trying to judge this later or nothing. Thank God, whatever type of hair she had prevented that bullet from going all the way through, up through there and taking her life away. Thank almighty creator for that, but it been a month since you been shot, lady. You ain't washed your hair? Anyway, that beside the point. Geronte Kane, her ex-boyfriend, boyfriend, was recently sentenced to 25 years in prison for the incident which occurred more than two years ago. According to reports, Gordon had been staying in the house of Kane's mother for a month after the incident while she had been suffering from severe headaches, memory loss, and difficulty in communicating. In June 2017, a friend brought her to the hospital where doctors found a bullet in the rear of her skull, which would likely be a fat be fatal to remove. Damn, that's fucked up. I apologize for what I said earlier in the video. I'm not going to take it out of the video. You can make, make whatever comment you want. I really don't care at this point. But I am, re I am taking that shit back right now, just if, if you made it far enough to hear it. In June 2017, a friend finally brought her to the hospital where doctors found a bullet in the rear of her skull, which would likely be fatal to move. The police were called to investigate, but she couldn't recall being shot. She only remembered some parts of the incident where she had been arguing with Kane. The car window shattered and crashed in her face, and she also blacked before she blacked out. So that's why she don't even remember. This nigga shot her through the car window. Like I said... Look at him. I, I, he, 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 I'm pretty sure he did it. He looked like he'll do some, some trifling ass shit like that. I don't know what they argued about. I don't know what type of relationship, how physical it was, but he should have been removed himself before he shot in his head. Either, either way it go. Gordon told authorities that Kane then brought her to his mother's house where they treated her wound in the head that she believes was from the broken glass. On the other hand, Kane had told police that Gordon crashed into a tree causing the glass to break. But after the inv investigation, the police determined that his statement is inconsistent with the crime scene. So here you go. Here he go. Here go Kane in a, in a cover up attempt telling the police that the girl crashed into a tree. But, you know, that's a lot of work. You, you the, the, the set that crime scene up right there. That's a lot of work you got to do when when an investigation going on. It's you gonna have to be some you know some evidence showing where she crashed into that tree. At. So he just an idiot. He he an all the way around idiot. An arrest a arrest warrant for Kane was then immediately issued, but he was only arrested on January 2019 after a two hour standoff with the police. So I'm surprised he made it through that standout right there. He must he I I just don't know how he made it through a standout with the police and he already shot a girl in the head. I'm not wishing death on him. I just I'm trying to figure out how the police are roll. Don't ain't they shoot niggas on sight? I just I'm just trying to figure out. Say during the trial, Gordon's friend also claimed that Kane sexually abused her multiple times in the past. Kane, who had served, uh, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Kane, who had several prior convictions, including a felony sexual battle, was sentenced to 25 years and five years on probation. 
for several crimes such as aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, aggravated battery, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Let's see. I think that's pretty much the end of the story there. Now let's get back like I like I was saying. This is a pretty this is a pretty bad guy right here. See, I can admit it. Even though he he, he probably looked like me. He might look like he looked like he could be my brother or my cousin, but like I said previously, like like we previously stated, certain people are are hindrance to any and everything. Certain people just not meant to be in society. What's this nigga name? Geronte Kane. This nigga Geronte Kane is an evil motherfucker. Yeah, evil motherfucker, and he a fucked up motherfucker. He got previous uh sexual battery charges, all type of criminal shit. Now you know I. I know that you can be, I know that the system that we live in can make you a criminal. But at a certain point, it's at a certain point, you ain't got no morals. And he he he, he ain't operating from with no moral capacity of doing anything right. You know, he just living a life of totally serving himself. And so this is not the type of people that we need. It's not the type of pe people we need going forth. Trying to build a nation of trying to build a nation on on standards and and uh justly doing things, operating out of justice. You know, we've been operating out of from a disjustice for so long that this is a, this is, it's sad to say that this is a common character in the black community. This is a very common character in the black community, and it is it, uh these type of people definitely. I, I mean, I I don't I know it, the world is what it is, but I don't I, I just don't see anything good about this dude, man. Shot the girl in the head through the glass, tried to cover it up. At a certain point, you gotta admit to some of the shit you done. So. He got 25 years in jail, man. You know, I, I think they should have gave him 50. Five-year probation. So he'll be out in 30. If he's 42, he'll be out in he'll be out when he's 70. This type of motherfucker will do that shit again, bro. Understand. Understand. Look at it. You can see the the, the, the the psychosis in his eye, bro. This type of nigga right here will get out of jail and do the shit next week. I'm not wishing that on nobody. And I'm, anybody can change, and I hope that they, he could figure out a way to change and become a productive a member in society after the, the 30 years go by. If he make it out that motherfucker or whatever, but as of now, man, he jail is the best play for this guy. Jail or hell, you know. I'm not. No, I'm not the one that deem none of those consequences to anybody, but. I don't usually agree with 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 the system and and what they what they delve out is punishment and the people that they go after. But this dude right here, he definitely need to be where he at in jail. So it was just an interesting story, man. That I thought I read, I ran across. So I I just wanted to present it to you guys, man. But anyway, it's your boy, Godly Mind State. I very much appreciate your time. Thank you and come back again.